habitat changes and extinction. Habitats are always changing. Some changes are small, some are big, some changes take a very long time. Some, such as floods and fires, happen fast. Changes in habitats affect living things. Living things may not be able to meet their needs in a habitat that has changed a lot. Many will have to move, and many may die. If the destruction or change in a habitat is widespread and lasts a long time, an entire species may be in danger. A species becomes extinct when all of its members die. All the dinosaur, woolly mammoth, and mastodon species no longer roam the land because they are extinct. The habitats of these animals changed over a long time. All the individuals of these species were not adapted to the new habitat. They could not respond in ways that kept them safe. Habitat change caused dinosaur extinction. How did dinosaurs become extinct? Scientists have two main ideas. The evidence comes from rocks and fossils. One idea is that a large asteroid from space crashed into Earth. The crash caused dust and smoke to rise into the air and block the sun. The world became cold and dark. Plants could not grow because they did not have sunlight to make food. Plant-eating dinosaurs died. Then meat eating dinosaurs died, too. The other idea is that a large volcano erupted. Smoke and ash blocked the sun. Acid rain fell from the sky. Dinosaurs died from lack of food. These are only two ideas, and something else may have led to the extinction of dinosaurs. No matter what the cause, when a habitat or environment changes, some living things may not be able to survive and reproduce. Habitat change can cause widespread extinction. When the dinosaurs got wiped out, so did many other species. This type of event is called a mass extinction because it causes the deaths of many organisms at once. Other mass extinctions have happened on Earth. Fossils give scientists clues about these events. Natural events and changes have caused mass extinctions in the past. Some scientists have suggested that we are now in a time of a new mass extinction. This one, they suggest, is caused by human activity. Changes in habitat have caused extinction recently. In 1900, there were one million western black rhinos on Earth. In 2001, there were only about 2,300. A few years later, black rhinos were extinct. Hunters killed western black rhinos for their horns. Their habitats were destroyed for building and farming. The western black rhino could not survive these changes. The Stella's sea cow became extinct about 250 years ago. It ate a plant like organism called kelp. Sea otters lived in these kelp forests. They ate sea animals called urchins that eat kelp, too. The otters in that area were hunted for their fur, and they disappeared. The urchin population grew because the urchins had no predators. The urchins quickly ate all the kelp. Sea cows died because they could not find food. Again, habitat change can lead to the death of all the individuals of an entire species. The passenger pigeon was a North American bird. People thought its meat was tasty. They also thought these birds were pests. Hunters shot the birds and poisoned them. They destroyed the birds' nests. Passenger pigeons became extinct in the early 1900. Plants also can become extinct because of habitat change. The St. Helena olive tree is one. It lived on an island in the Atlantic Ocean. People cut down these trees for wood. The few trees that were left had trouble reproducing. Scientists tried to save the trees. They grew young trees in a lab, but these trees could not survive in the wild. The last St. Helena olive tree died in 2003. Habitat change threatens many living things. Some species are close to becoming extinct. They are endangered. An endangered species is one that has almost disappeared. Conservationists try to help endangered species survive. But some of them are likely to die anyway. The Sumatran elephant is an endangered species. It lives in a forest habitat. Its habitat is being cleared to make room for farms and buildings. The elephants are also killed for their tusks. There are only about 2,500 Sumatran elephants left in the wild. The Amur leopard lives in forests in Asia. There are fewer than 100 Amur leopards left in the wild. People kill these leopards for their fur. People also hunt their prey for food. Construction and forest fires have changed the leopard's habitat too.